um, I'm a little bit giddy today because I'm really excited about next week when you're all coming back. It'd be great to welcome you back here. Um, although I know that some of you haven't been in school since March, so you might be a little bit anxious about coming back. So we've produced this video for you that hopefully will help. And it goes alongside this booklet, which you'll find on our website. Now, we've worked alongside the government guidance and they've given us really clear advice on what we need to do. We can't make the school risk free. However, there is some proper advice on what we need to do. And even though you've not been in, we've been working throughout the holidays to make the school as safe as we possibly can. It's so important that you do sit down with your families and you read this. There's some very clear information in there and it's important that you adhere to this, both parents and students, because it's only by genuinely working together that we can make people feel safe and be safe. So see you next week. The first question that a lot of you may be asking is who needs to come back? Um, obviously things have changed since before the holidays and the simple answer is everyone is expected to have full attendance. Um, Unless, of course, your doctor has said that you can't come back for, for medical reasons and we would need some evidence of that, or you are quarantining or self-isolating. And if that is the case, you do need to let school know as, as soon as possible. In an ideal world, we'd have everybody back at the same time. However, we've got so many new procedures and systems in place that we've organised a staggered start to the new term. Monday and Tuesday are going to be staff inset day, so we can fully train the staff on the new systems and procedures. And then we're bringing back on Wednesday the 9th of September, Year 7 only. On the 10th, it will be Year 7, 8 and 9 students. And then on the 11th, the Friday, it will be all students coming back in. Now, some of you may ask, why are we doing it in that way? The rationale behind this, and it wasn't an easy decision to make, is that last term, our students who are currently in year 11 and 10 did have the opportunity for some face-to-face -face contact with school. However, uh, the rest of the students uh, didn't have that. So that's the reason we've done it. Okay, so enough of me. I'm gonna hand you over to Mrs. Jagger, who's gonna talk you through the next step of the video. Thank you. Now you might be wondering, will lessons be going back to normal? When year 10 came in the summer term, they only had a limited number of, of lessons uh, and the government have recognised it can't be like this when you all come back to school. So instead, we'll try to keep you in year group bubbles, but you will be taught the full curriculum. Students in year seven and eight will remain static for all of their lessons, with the exception of PE, science, art and ICT. Teach will, teachers will travel to the students in these lessons. These students will be taught in mixed ability forms. Year seven will be based in the maths block and room 127. Year 8 students will be based in the village, the temporary classrooms, 126 and 128. And years 9, 10 and 11 will move around the site and be taught in specialist rooms where possible. When travelling to and from school, you should maintain the social distancing guidance to avoid any contact with any students in a different year group. We recommend that you avoid public transport if possible, but if you've got no alternative, please remember you must wear a face mask. You should not meet or congregate with peers in groups on the way to and from school and please be respectful of the local community and don't hang around, around or outside school in groups. To avoid as much as possible year groups mixing together, we're offering a slightly staggered start at the beginning and the end of the day. The times are as follows. Years 7, 8 and 9 should arrive from 8.20 so they can be in their first lesson ready to start by 8.30. They will finish at 2.50pm. Years 10 and 11 should arrive from 8.30 so they can start their first lesson by 8.40. They will finish at 3pm. It is essential that you arrive at these time slots and are not late. Each year group also has designated entry points and it's essential that you stick to these. Year 7 and 10 come in through the delivery entrance. Year 8 via the staff car park exit into the side entrance by the side of the admin office. Year 9 via the bus bay gates into school via the first technology door. Year 11 via the bus bay gates but entering school by the second technology door. And of course, because of the number of students accessing via the car park, parents and carers will not be allowed to drive into the car park. 
If your child has genuine mobility difficulties, please contact the school to discuss how we can support this. As already mentioned, it is important that you arrive at your allotted time. However, if in an emergency you are late, you must report by the side door next to the admin office so you can be taken to your room. So once you're in the building, whilst passing on the corridors or being anywhere in communal spaces is low risk, we have put in place a one-way system to limit the risk of transmission. Now we're going to show you round the one-way system, but it's going to be quite fast. And of course, I'm a bit too old to do that. Whoa, 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 you're not old, miss. Thanks, sir. But what I will do is I'll hand over to Sir now. Obviously, the best way to minimise infection is to have a thorough and good hygiene routine. Obviously, personal hygiene is important, but also following guidance around a full cleaning schedule being in place to clean regularly contacted areas. I've got my glamorous assistant, Mr Maxwell, to show you that we will be wiping down those places like sw light switches, door handles, railings, etc. We've also got new bins with lids because it's important that everybody puts wipes, tissues and any other disposable items that they have touched in these bins. You will also see that wherever possible the furniture in each classroom is front facing and teachers will teach from the front as much as possible. It's really important that you remain in your allocated seat and you don't get out of that until you are dismissed by your teacher. Because we're trying to limit as much as possible the sharing of resources, you must bring your basic equipment, which includes pen, pencil, ruler, rubber and sharpener. It's still recommended that students limit the amount of equipment that they bring into school each day, just keeping it down to the bare essentials, a lunchbox if you've got a packed lunch, your hat, your coat, your book, obviously your stationery and mobile phone, but you are expected to bring a bag to carry your equipment in it. If your teacher allows you to, you can take your books and other shared resources home but they will be limited to those that you need for your studies. You may also be asked to wipe down any shared classroom-based resources after usage. It's also important that we maintain good personal hygiene. And if you sneeze or cough, you do it into a tissue and throw it in the bin. If you haven't got a tissue, do so into the corner of your arm. You'll also need to sanitize your hands when you enter and exit each route with the hand gel, hand gel. You must wash your hands regularly at every other opportunity, after breaks and lunches, and in the big dining areas, we've got additional sink, sinks for you to use. From September, all students will be expected to wear full school uniform again. It is important that you follow the rules around uniform as we're unable to lend uniform items out to you because of the current COVID situation. If you have any problems regarding the purchasing of uniform, please contact school. Often, if it's cold or a bit wet, we do PE lessons inside. However, the guidance at the moment strongly advises that where possible, all PE lessons should be held outside. Guidance also recommends that schools should avoid students changing for PE, 
However, they must wear the appropriate kit for health and safety reasons. So instead of changing for PE, we are saying that on the days you have PE, you must come to school wearing your PE kit. This must include a plain black pair of tracksuit or jogging bottoms, not leggings. Please note for the purpose of modesty, you will not be allowed to wear shorts around school. We also suggest you bring a lightweight Kugel style waterproof coat. This can be of any colour. And a spare uniform, if the forecast suggests wet weather, we'll be using outside unless it's really bad weather and we wouldn't want you to be walking around school with wet clothes if you've had PE in the morning. Of course, if the weather is really bad, we will use indoor spaces, but because we are using the sports hall and main hall as dining room venues, we don't want to do this too often. In line with guidance, we've also staggered break times and lunch times, and each year group's been allocated a social space. Year seven will be eating their lunch in the sports hall and we'll go to the tennis courts for their social space. I will be eating here in the dining room, obviously at different times so that they don't cross over. They'll go outside at the back of the dining room for their social space and we've hired um, four toilets so that there are additional toilet facilities for you. Years 9 and 11 will use the toilets on the main library corridor as it used to be and they will have their lunch in our lovely new bistro. They'll be able to go outside into the quad if it's nice weather and if it's wet weather we'll take you into the main hall. Even if you bring packed lunches you'll still have to use your allocated space. And of course, all students must throw away their litter in the bins provided. To reduce the movements around school, we're asking students to limit their use of toilet facilities to break or lunchtime. Just like your teachers, you'll not be expected to leave a lesson to go to the toilet, unless there's an emergency, in which case you'll be escorted by a member of staff. We don't want you to worry about this, but it's something you should learn to do as you get older. You wouldn't want to leave and re-enter a theatre performance in the middle of it. This is to avoid the mixing of year groups and to ensure that toilets can be cleaned properly after usage. If a student has a medical condition though and needs to use the toilet more regularly, please get in touch with the school office, Mrs Doyle as the office manager, or Mrs Holder, our SENCO, so that a medical pass can be issued. Whilst we're doing everything we can to minimise the risk of infection from COVID-19, we need to be sure what to do if you or someone in your house is displaying symptoms. There is a lot of information on this on the booklet and it's important that you read this carefully. But in brief, you must inform school and isolate, not self-isolate for at least 10 days. Anyone else in your household must self-isolate for 14 days from when you started having symptoms. Test, order a test immediately at www.nhs.uk forward slash coronavirus or call 119 if you have no internet access. Results. If your test is positive, you must complete the remainder of your 10-day self-isolation. Anyone in your household must also complete self-isolation 14 days from when you started having symptoms. If your test is negative, you and other household members no longer need to self-isolate. Share contacts. If you test positive for coronavirus, the NHS Test and Trace Service will send you a text or email alert or call you with instructions of how to share details of people who you've had close, recent contact with. If you become genuinely ill in school with symptoms, we will ask your parent or carer to pick you up immediately and you must follow the same steps I've already said. As you know, there have been some changes around face masks recently and you might be a bit confused. The guidance says schools and colleges can choose whether or not they use face coverings in communal areas such as corridors and halls. But if you're in an area where there are restrictions, like Kirklees is at the minute, it is compulsory to wear full face coverings in communal areas. Obviously this is not whilst you're eating or drinking. Because things change so quickly, at SPEN we are saying, whilst Kirklees is subject to local restrictions, all staff and students must wear face coverings in communal areas, including the dining room, main hall, sports hall and corridors. We are happy for students to wear them in lessons if they feel more comfortable in doing so. When Kirklees comes out of lockdown, it will no longer be compulsory to wear face coverings in communal areas, but if people wish to continue wearing them, we'll allow this for their own well-being. Because people are using face masks outside of school, they won't be provided by school. However, if you do forget to bring one, there are some spare ones available. 
Of course, these must be worn properly and information on this is given on the booklet on the website. If you don't wish to wear a mask in lessons and it is reusable, you will need to bring a plastic bag that you can keep it in. All disposable masks must be placed in the lidded bins provided. So everyone will have had different experiences over the last six months. Some of you may have had very difficult times and some of you may be experiencing anxiety about coming back to school. All of this is completely normal and you mustn't feel embarrassed about this. I hope in some way this video will help you and the guidance so that you're not concerned about the procedures that we have in space in place. I'm sure that once you're back in school you'll start to feel a little bit better. Now as you can appreciate we're not going to be able to operate the PLP provision in the same way that we normally do. You'll only be able to go to that area if it's in your timetable. However what we have done We've built into everyone's timetable, time with their form tutor to check in with you to, to see that you're feeling okay. Some people's natural response if they're feeling a bit anxious is to walk away. I'm afraid that's something that, that you can't do. I'm sure you understand why. So if you're genuinely worried about coming back to school, it's really important that you, your parent or carer rings school to speak to either Mr. Orsley, Mr. Fox Rice or Mrs. Holder. We've got the expectations in our booklet about behaviour, so it's really important that, that you read that. Um, the other thing is, parents, unfortunately, if you do need to talk to us, it's not appropriate for you just to turn up. If you can give us a ring or an email and we can arrange a time where there's a room suitable for a socially distanced meeting if that's what we need and if we can't resolve any issues over the phone. Obviously, with our students, we're expecting you to be responsible, mature, and to be respectful towards everybody, because it's working together that will genuinely help us get over this difficult situation. Some of you might be worried about the work. Please don't be. There's lots of support on hand from your teachers, and we will be running sessions after school, particularly for year 11. You might think you're bored of it at the moment, but there will still be online learning, so you will still have access to century learning for English, maths, and science, as well as educate. For English and science. Please don't worry about it. If you're struggling, just come and talk to your form tutor, your teacher or anybody in school. So there we have it. Uh, I hope the video has been helpful, even if some of the presentation has been a little bit dodgy. I'm not sure the BBC are going to be signing us up uh, anytime soon. Um, but we are really looking forward to you coming back next week. Absolutely. Remember, the situation is changing constantly and we'll keep families updated through our normal procedures, the website, text and Twitter. So it's important that families do keep uh, checking those. Um, but in the meantime, if you've got any questions, it's important that you all feel a little bit more relaxed and a little bit less worried about coming back. Um, and we're going, to, we're going to put the email uh, across the screen. So get some rest over the weekend and see you next week. Bye bye. Bye.